Festival here in Franklin, Tennessee right now with Haley Witters, with Dave Matthews singing background <laughs> vocals. We are very appreciative that he chose to do that. Haley, it's wonderful to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah, man, this is great. So we're about to share a lot of your music with our audience right now. All three of them are from Living the Dream, the deluxe edition. Yeah. Um, what's coming up first today? Uh, well, let's start with How Far Gonna Go. So, uh... This is How Far Can It Go. I'm a, I'm a giant fan of 90s country. And uh, part of the deluxe edition, I, I figured we might try and call some of my heroes, some of the people that inspired my record, The Dream, and see if they might want to feature on it. And, and this was a big old Hail Mary ask, but we asked Trisha Yearwood, who um, I'm just my ultimate girl crush, and she actually said yes. So she's featuring on this song, uh, but this is one of my favorites off the deluxe edition. This is How Far Can It Go? She's got just enough red Revlon left in the tube. He's got a tenth of a tank, but it'll more than make two. They got just enough starlight, just enough beer, just enough country song to get them. They're from here, they might go all the way, they might run out of road, but they're about to find out how far it can go. How far can it go? How long will it last? She's got her eyes on forever, has got his foot on the gas. Can't stop two hearts from falling down like I'm nose. Heads are shaking, preacher praying, mama saying, hey. How far can it go? They got just enough sunsets left in the summer for zip codes changing to five different numbers. They got just enough history to hold it together. Say they'll meet halfway at least three times a semester. Is it gonna work out? What the hell do they know? But as of last night, they still can't hang up the phone How far can it go? How long will it last? She's got her eyes on forever's got his foot on the gas Can't stop two hearts from finding out what they want to know Town is guessing, people betting, daddy sweating Hey, how far can it go? Hearts are racing, loves are chasing. I'm just saying, huh? How far can it go? Yeah, we all wanna know. How far can it go? How far can it go? Man, this is, I am ultimately impressed because I know, I mean, the internet does not know how loud this is. They're hearing you fairly directly and I'm sure they can hear it in the background, but not like it is now. This um, is one of the like most interesting shows we've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> Man, well, I hope, I'm not sure whether you did say this in the introduction, and I hope that you didn't already say all of this, but I'd like to know more about the guest artists that were uh, that you were able to work with on Living the Dream. Yeah, I mean, the, the Dream was such just a career-changing record for me. I mean, when I started the Dream, I was waiting tables when I put it out. I had no management, no record label, no publicist. Uh, it, was, it was literally just me uploading my songs onto my Instagram, and so... Uh, that whole record just changed my entire life. Just the, the fans really, you know, just responded with that record and kind of blew it up for me. And so uh, I found myself often when I was talking about that record and press just saying, you know, I feel like I'm living the dream. I got to hang up the wake, uh, waitress 
apron strings and I got to go on the road and tour and like actually commit to doing this full time. So uh, I just felt on top of the world and I wanted to show fans what living the dream meant to me. So we asked some of my heroes, uh, some of the people who actually took me out on the road to support that record, Brent Cobb's on that record. He invited me out to go open for him and uh, Jordan Davis is on that record. He asked me to go out and tour uh, and open for him. And, and so all of these people on the deluxe edition really just had a hand in like shaping my career and allowing me to just do this full time. And, and Trisha, obviously she's a giant hero in Little Big Town. It's a big part of the story too. So uh, Lori McKenna, Hillary Lindsay, just very, very huge influences on me songwriting wise. So uh, everyone kind of ties into the story, you know? Nice, man. Well, we love Lori. We love you. It's yes. wonderful to see you out here in, in the middle of this. And then some lights came on and it's just, it's delightful, man. I like everything about this. It's yeah. uh, always a pleasure to cross paths with you. I have no doubt we're going to keep doing that. And yes. there's more of your music to be shared. What do you feel like doing second today? Uh, well, um, I don't know if the live stream, how much they can see, but I am definitely a proud Midwesterner. So I've got my rhinestone corn cob skirt on tonight. <laughs> I'm from a, a small town in Iowa and uh, just where I come from is such a large part of me and who I am and my music and so this is a little bit of a love song, a love song to the heartland where I was born and raised, small town in Iowa, the, the people in the place that always keep me grounded so this is Heartland. Should be married by now Two kids in a paid for house I can hear them now Asking what I'm doing now I should have a little more to show Than a suitcase smells like smoke I should have an alibi On where time goes when it flies Cause I've been on the rocks I've been on the road on the other side, every door closed I've been on a limb, trying to catch a break Something's gotta give, sometimes you gotta take Take it down fast, lane Right back to your last name Too much you where you came from You still shining in the same sun It don't matter how high You've been floating in your blue sky Nothing gets you like
<laughs> thank you, thank you. I feel like you timed that one pretty well. Yes. Yeah. We did. We played it pretty well. Well, no, I know for sure you played it very well. I think that you timed it very well considering main stage volume. So well done. That was kind of like our ballad. So thank you, Dave Matthews. <laughs> thank you for giving us that moment. Yeah. <laughs> how has, So are you right in the middle of an insane Americana pilgrimage week? Has it been super packed for you? And are you in the middle of... Well, yeah, I did. I actually jumped up uh, Thursday night to sing. I, I actually didn't have an Americana Fest show, but I jumped up to sing with my friend Brittany Spencer. Yeah. At um, I jumped up to sing a song with her at Third and Lindsley. It was a song that we had written together. And and then I, I did a private show last night with Garden and Gun in North Carolina. And then we're here tonight at Pilgrimage and we're actually doing Whiskey Jam tomorrow night at Loser's Bar in Midtown in Nashville. So yeah, I guess it's a little a little country, a little Americana fest, you know? Is it are you headed back home after this or are you in the middle of the larger uh, larger tour? Are you out on the road for a bit? We are, so actually we're about to go out with Midland. We're direct support. We're supporting Midland this fall on their last resort tour. So uh, we head out October 12th, I think, with them. And I think it kicks off in Tucson, Arizona. And we're going every weekend until December 23rd. So we're going to be all over the place. Uh, We're playing Red Rocks for the first time. I'm so stoked to be doing that. And so many, like, bucket list venues. We get to play the Ryman Auditorium here in Nashville. We're playing that twice. So uh, it's going to be a busy fall. Good. Good. Well, I'm glad for you. I mean, we're having a similar experience now that the New York studio doesn't exist anymore. We're kind of traveling around everywhere and doing it, doing this. It's been totally delightful. Yeah, uh, we're actually, we're playing Hammerstein Ballroom. All right. So we're going to be in New York. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Nice. Well, travel safely, please, between all those dates. I'm glad that you're going to be at the Hammerstein. And um, yeah, we've got, there's still one more of your songs to be shared off of Living the Dream Deluxe Edition. What do you feel like doing third today? Uh, So we're going to, I'm a glass half full kind of gal. And so uh, I try and stay positive, especially with, you know, the whole last year that we've had. Uh, It's been wild times and and I just got to remind myself to stay positive and just focus on the things that are, are bringing me joy and uh, light. And so I wrote this song actually right before the pandemic. And it's kind of given, uh, gotten a new, a new life and a new meaning the last year. This is a, a song called Fill in My Cup. It's off the deluxe edition and Little Big Town. Dear, dear friends of mine and so much the reason why I get to do this for a living. They actually featured on this one. So... Um, this is called Fill in My Cup. Cheers to all you live streamers. I hope you're well wherever you are tonight. And I hope this one makes you fill up your glass and cheers to whatever it is, the good stuff that's happening in your life right now. This is Fill in My Cup. It ain't the bartender. It ain't the bottle. It ain't the headache I have tomorrow. It's a high, low life. Go and shake it on up. Fill in my All my people sitting round a table Real sad country on the radio My go-to blues and my old faithful Barely pushing 20 but still carrying me home It's one part happy and one part chaos Whole lot of borrow, little bit paid off You can't appreciate the sugar if you never had the song and nice and sweet even when it's on the rocks yeah it ain't the bartender it ain't the bottle it ain't the headache i'll have tomorrow it's a high low life go and shake it on up fill in my Although so close you can't taste it Heart pills swallow goodbye lust Sometimes half empty 
Empty's good for making room for the no when you see good stuff. It's one part happy and one part pain, knowing what you can and what you can't change. And learning that the secret is one and what you got. Makes it nice and sweet even when it's on the rocks, yeah. It ain't the bartender, it ain't the bottle, it ain't the headache I'll have tomorrow. It's a high low life, going shaking on up, filling my cup, yeah. It ain't the bartender, it ain't the bottle, it ain't the headache coming tomorrow. It's a high low life, go and shake it on up, fill it in my cup. Yeah, it ain't the whiskey, it ain't the wine, the witcher goes good from time to time with this high low life, go and shake it on up. Yeah, that's the start, it's filling my cup. Shake it on up, fill it up, woo! Yeah, thank you, thank you. Man, thank you for coming and sharing the music. I knew that you guys were pros the, from the first time, but you've just proven that in spades. <laughs> what absolute professionals. I can't wait to hear the playback and what this sounds like, but thank you so <laughs> oh much for sharing your music with us today. Thanks, of course, to Dave for thank the you, duet. Thank you, Dave. You sound great tonight. <laughs> and best best of continued luck on the record, and we'll stay tuned for, uh, for road dates, and I'll see you in, I don't know, in like a yes. year or something. Thank you so much, Brad and Juan. Thank you, Pat Pace Magazine. This was awesome. Thanks for